Music tuition in Western music in the last 400 years has focused on teaching people to remember sequences of notes, which notes are in which scales, which notes are in which chords, trying to remember hundreds, even thousands of notes in all their correct sequences is often so overwhelming that many people are convinced they could never begin to learn the language of music. However, no gift, talent, or natural ability is necessary when the focus is shifted instead to the relationships between the notes. These relationships create simple patterns which anyone can learn. Now, I'm going to show you, I hope, in 10 minutes, how anyone can begin to learn the language of music and start playing scales and chords on both keyboard and the guitar. I'm lucky to be joined by a volunteer. Uh, perhaps, would you come on stage with me? Thank you so much. Very brave. Thank you. Now, the keyboard. One of the big mysteries. Some of the notes are colored white, some of them are colored black. This is simply to make patterns on the keyboard easier to recognize. This is the secret. If you cut off the bottom part of the key so that they're all the same length, it's much easier to understand patterns. Now, if you pick any key, white or black, and move to the key immediately to its right, I call this a step of one. Now, traditional names for this step of one are not important for now. It doesn't matter if it's a step of one from a white key to a black key, a black key to a white key, or a white key to a white key. It's still a step of one. Logically, <laughs> a step of two, a distance equal to two steps of one. Now, I have my volunteer here, and I've placed a black cloth across the bottom part of the keyboard so that all the keys are the same length while we're practicing these steps. Okay? Pick any key, white or black, and put your right hand index finger on it. Play it for me. Wonderful, it works. Now move one step to the right. One more, one more, one step, one step, keep going, keep going, there we go, fantastic. Now, pretty good. Now we're gonna try a step of two. Pick any key, white or black. Now, move a step of two to the right. Excellent, two more, excellent, two more. Perfect, two more, professional. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to a very common pattern, in fact, the most common scale in Western music. It's called the major scale, scala maggiore in Italian. It's simply a pattern, two, two, one, two, 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 one, and we already know what that is. Pick any key, white or black, put your index finger on it. Excellent, two to the right. Two more. One, please. Fantastic. Two. Two, please. Two, please. Excellent. One more. Give a round of applause. You just played the first major scale. Well done. Now, it doesn't matter which key you start on. That pattern will always produce a major, key, a major scale wherever you start. Let's prove that. Pick a different key. White, black makes no difference. Excellent, good choice. Two to the right, two to the right. One more please, two please, two please, two please, and one to finish. Give a round of applause. Excellent. Now, this same pattern 
can be used to teach anyone a scale on a guitar. Watch. I'm going to pluck this string and now I'm going to shorten it by using two of these divisions on the neck of the guitar. So here we go. Shorten by a step of two, another step of two, a step of one, a step of two, a step of two, a step of two, and a step of one. Major scale on the guitar. It doesn't matter where you start or on which string, random. Mm, there. Let's try again. Shorten by a step of two, step of two, step of one, step of two, step of two, step of two, and finally, a step of one. Major scale on the guitar. Now, scales. Different scales have different patterns of steps. That's the major scale. Minor scale. Scala minore. A different flavor. Chromatic scale, very complex. Whole tone scale. This is the scale that was loved by composers like Debussy. I know she's looking at me going, I can play those. Yeah, very good. The blues scale. Step of three, step of two, step of one, step of one, step of three, step of two. Now, scales can be used, different scales can be used to produce different emotional responses within an audience. And scales are the building blocks of harmony, oops, excuse me, of melody. I think I got that one wrong. Of melody. Now, funny I talked about harmony, we're going to do that next. Chords. Now what are chords? Remember what I said? They're just groups of notes played at the same time. So I'm going to remove your safety net. Yeah. Let's see whether we can get you to do some chords. Take your right hand thumb and put it on any key, white or black. Fantastic. Now hold on to that. Using your index finger, count up one step at a time until you reach four steps. Fantastic. Now leave both fingers where they are and count up another three steps with your next finger. Excellent. All together, please. Give a round of applause. The major chord, accordo maggiore in Italian. So what is a major chord? Hmm. Four steps, followed by three steps. It doesn't matter where you start on that keyboard will always produce a major chord with that pattern. Let's try it. Pick a different note. Excellent. So hang on to that one and count up four. She's doing good. Hold on to that and count up another three. Now adjust your fingers to make them more comfortable for yourself. That's good. All together. Perfect. Give a round of applause. She's doing great. Now, the minor chord is a little more complex. Mm -hmm. Three, four. Should we try that? Let's go. Put your thumb anywhere you like. Good. Count up three, please. Excellent. Count up four, please. Fantastic. All together. Minor chord. Accordo minore. Give a round of applause. Thank you very much for your help. Give another round of applause. Thank you so much. Very brave to get up here in front of an audience. Well done. Now, what are chords? They're simply patterns. Major chord, 4-3. Minor chord, 3-4. Hmm. 
diminished chord, a cordo diminuito in Italian, 3-3. Three, three. Augmented chord, a cordo aumentata, 4-4. Four, four. Chords have different patterns of steps. And chords can be used to add texture to the melodies. Chords are the building blocks of harmony. When someone can easily play scales, chords, as quickly as this, they become motivated, enthusiastic. They want to continue the journey. If you think about how complex it is to try and remember scales and chords by using note names instead of the patterns. It's no wonder that most people find it's the most difficult thing in music. Now, the second most difficult thing is trying to read musical notation. Hmm. But it can also be explained as a simple subject too, but that would be the subject for another talk on another evening. So I hope you now have a little insight into why I believe that learning these patterns for scales and chords is the key to success. If you can set someone on the road to learning music as quickly as that, they want to continue the journey and open the door to the language of music. Thank you very much indeed.